will show how to apply a paper mask. This is the same process that you will use for both acrylic and wood. The only difference is that when you are first using your sheet of acrylic, you will make sure that you remove the protective coating that comes on the acrylic. It is there to protect the acrylic in the shipping process, but it is not engravable and it will outgas hazardous fumes. You do not want to use this as your mask on your acrylic. So you'll just take it off and I'll come right back to the video as soon as I have removed it. Okay, I am back. I have removed the protective coating from both the top and the bottom of my sheet of acrylic. So it's all ready to go. Again, applying the paper mask is the same regardless if it's the acrylic or the wood. I'm just going to use my paper mask. I'll put a large sheet. Okay, I'll get a large sheet of my paper mask. Tearing it, be sure it does not stick to itself because it will be unusable. It's not easy to get them to unstick. So with this, we'll actually start from the center, and it may be counterintuitive, you may think you start from the edge, but it's easier if we lay this down, their hands holding the sides, the edges, and lay it on the middle, and carefully roll it out with your hand. If you need to lift up a little bit, that's okay. Roll it out. And what this will do is ensure that it is sticking correctly and you're also able to move the air bubbles out as you smooth it down. Now when it is down, you want to also make sure you go around, I use little circles, to make sure that this is sticking to the acrylic or the wood sheet. And that is just so that it does not raise up inside the laser bed, which if you do not get good adhesion, it will do, and then you have a risk for uh, creating a fire in your laser, which of course you don't want. So apply from the middle, smooth it out, rub out air bubbles, make sure it's sticking nice and even to your sheet, and you're good to go. And this has been Applying the Paper Mask.